when you came into office, you met some some um, projects started up by the previous administration. Let's look at the issue of job creation. You talked about re-stimulating the economy, jobs, people are losing jobs, yes. how to get the manufacturers back. But then there are those in the small and medium scale enterprises who got opportunities to start up their businesses, um, like um, UA, right. NAFON, mm -hmm. and they look like they have not been attended to for okay. quite a while. Uh, are, they one of, are they some of the projects you're planning to jettison? We're review, no, we're not jettisoning, in, we're not, we will not jettison anything, um, but we must review things to make sure that they are relevant to where we are today and the funds we have today. So take UWIN for an example. UWIN, we just dispersed another 1.3 billion about last week to UWIN. So UWIN is on running, on ongoing. The qu question about UWIN is sustainability. Now what UWIN did, and it's a great project, but it gave grants to people of up to 10 million naira. These are grants that are not repayable. So the question for me is, what's the sustainability of this project? Because 10 million naira is quite a lot of money for one person to receive. It's great. I mean, if you give me 10 million naira, I can go off and start a really, you know, a good business. But the point is, where's the sustainability? Should government be giving money um, that is non-refundable? So we're trying to restructure it. But where government had made commitments and people had signed a contract and they were expecting a, a grant, I think, and that was our percent, government should honour its agreement. What caused the delay in the payment of the 1.3 billion was I wanted them to give me BVN numbers for those accounts. And of course, when we got BVN numbers, what did we discover? Some people had died, some people were not there, some people, uh, the businesses, for whatever reason, hadn't taken off. So you've got to go through Dupre, you have to check things. But we've dispersed 1.3 billion for UWIN. Uh, the question is, with the balance of the UWIN funds, can we do things better? Can we have more impact? Is 10 million for one person quite a lot? Could we have done 10 people at 1 million? So those are the sorts of questions that we're addressing within the ministry to say, okay, going forward, what's going to be the shape of you in? But we're not, we're not cancelling it.